Okay, I'm back now on my computer so that I can have a little bit more control over the chat here. Maybe maybe make you mods, who knows? Uh, some of you have been around for a while. But anyway, continuing from the last video. I'm just going to wait for people to come in. Hi, Peter F. Thanks. How's it going? Hi, Delta Tango. Hi, Scott Luckoff. Robin Banks. How's it going? Just going to pour myself some classy box wine here and settle in to hang out with you guys. Maybe put up a curtain behind me so it's not so bright. Uh, long last road trip, uh, maybe twice, three times. Peter, it's hot. Oh, man, I'm kind of jealous. It's starting to get a little chilly out here, and it's been really rainy. Hold on one second. That helps a little bit. Okay. Hey, how's it going, Magnolia Mama, Mike Moore? How's it going, guys? Satan, dog out. Back up. Yeah, welcome, Rooster Comb. It's, I, I kind of have a problem with, like, scheduling stuff. I kind of just pop on when I feel like it, but I'll try and get on more now that I have um, my own internet here. Um, I'm using a track phone that I bought at Walmart with unlimited data, so... I can get online when I have reception more often. So that's really nice. It, you know, that was kind of like the last modern comfort of home that I was missing. Hey, Matt as Squat the Planet. How are you doing? I'm uh, doing a little promotional live stream to make people aware that I'm going to be live on your channel, Squat the Planet, on Saturday at 5 Pacific Standard Time. And uh, you should all catch that. And I'll be talking about myself and stuff, which I don't do, like, a ton of on my channel. So that'll be fun. Uh, Terry Wise, uh, you know, it's the weather-wise. Uh, weather-wise, it's been really beautiful all summer. Uh, a little rainy in some spots. And where I am now, it's been raining nonstop for weeks. So. That's why I haven't put out my last video of my hitchhiking trip because I haven't had enough power to do the editing on my computer here, which um, which kind of sucks. But, you know, um, I might just rent out a campsite just so I can plug in for the day. Um, or I might have to wait until I get out of here and get to Fairbanks on my way out to do the editing. Either way, I'm going to have a the last video of the Hitchhiking Alaska series up um Probably within this this week. <laughs> hey, shout out Swamp Fox. We're all going to be dirt in the ground, man. That was a really fun song to perform. And Crab Daddy, hey, I got something for you before I block you. Let's see. Oh, here. Here we go. Bye. <laughs> Armand, I don't know what Hippie Cove is. Um, hey, Matt, I'm going to make you a moderator if you want. Yeah, and I can't wait for your investigative reporting. I'm, I'm super stoked. <laughs> Zane keeps talking about Hippie Cove. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where or what that is. Let's put you away. All right. Hey, Mary, thanks. I'm glad you enjoy my videos. And, uh, folks, you know, um, you, usually when I put up new videos, I get some new subscribers, but lately I've been at a standstill. So, like, like I've been saying in my last couple live streams, like, uh, if you want to help out in any way, like, sharing my videos, 
and encouraging other people to subscribe and check out what I'm doing is really super helpful and I always appreciate it. So right now I'm parked uh, along the Matanuska River. It's really beautiful out here. The scenery is com completely epic. Um, and uh, I've, I've been having a really nice time. It's nice and quiet over here. The halibut, well, it's delicious when it's fresh. I haven't had any that I didn't help catch yet, but uh, I did very much enjoy that filet. I don't know what a mukbang is, Alaska Navigator. Oh, Cordova, yeah. Um, I haven't been to Cordova. Pretty sure you can only access Cordova uh, by airplane. And you Peter F. Yeah, I've seen a lot of bears. This last um fucking this last segment, uh, the last video from the series that uh, it's gonna have some more wildlife, especially when I get up, you know, when I'm up toward the Arctic. It gets pretty interesting, but I I don't want to spoil it too much. But yeah, you'll see. It's actually pretty awesome, and I'm excited to make the video. I've been just itching to to do it, you know. But like I said, power and sunlight has been limited. Oh, I'm not interested in doing that, Alaska Navigator. That sounds weird. But you can do it and let me know how it goes. My favorite part of Alaska. Um, you know, it's it's actually surprising how much culture there is up here. Uh, and there's a lot of music and the folk punk scene and just the folk scene in general up here is really, really awesome. And, um, you know, I just, I've been enjoying meeting really cool people, but also... Um, there's like, it's, it's a really un uninhabited state too. There's just so many hundreds of miles of just nowhere. And, uh, I really like being somewhere and like realizing that I'm the only human being for like, I don't even know how many miles of a radius. Um, squat the planet. I would... I would definitely say that there's a pretty healthy um, traveler and punk scene up here. I mean, like I said, it's it's not a very inhabited state for how big it is. But, um, like, I feel like per capita there's a, a larger percentage of people that um, are of that kind of state of mind and thought process. And... Uh, it, it's, it's actually really cool. Like I've met so many people, um, you know, who are like, oh yeah, I used to be a backpacker or a rubber tramp too. And then I found a sweet job here in Alaska and I've been living here for 10 years and I love it. Um, so I don't know. I've met a lot of old punks up here and I've jammed out with a lot of really talented musicians. Oh, hey, Luke Mule. Nice to see you too. I'm glad you enjoy my videos. Uh, Thor dog, yeah, th some of them. Some groceries are a little bit more expensive, but it was—it's not nearly as gnarly as I was led to believe. <clears throat> um, oh, thanks, Chris. I, yeah, I'm glad you like them. Um, Scott, uh, yeah, it, it when when I first got back to my bus after finishing my quest, I did feel like really. You know, it's like the, getting to the end of a good book and you're just like sad that it ended, but you know, you're happy that you had the experience and that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, Squat the Planet, yeah, you have to live here for a full year and uh, prove that you have been uh, before you're eligible for the stipend. And it's it it fluctuates depending on how much money 
is made in taxes, I think, from the oil companies. Um, so it, it sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's not much. Usually it's around like one to two grand. Let's see. Do Alaskan people seem happy in general? Um, that's, I mean, you know, people that live here year round spend a lot of time in like freezing cold darkness. So when the summer comes around, they're elated. And it, it's, since the sun's up all the time, like, you know, it's eight here, eight nineteen, and the sun's not even, I mean, it's, it's starting to set, but so with the sun up all the time, um, it, it makes it it makes people want to stay up later and party all the time. Like, and and it's really easy to lose track of time when you're out like partying and and stuff because it's like your brain doesn't catch on that it's actually like three in the morning, you know. So uh, it, it's really easy to kind of just like roll into the next day, like you know, especially during festivals and stuff, which I've gone to three festivals so far this summer. Um, rooster comb. I don't plan more than a season ahead. My next trip is getting to slab city so that I can host the squad, the plane and jamboree, uh, for the fourth, um, the fourth year. So that's really super exciting. And I'm so happy to, uh, work with Matt on that. And, um, and, other ST peers and, you know, it's, and that and that's a really good kickoff to the Slab City winter season, um, which I'm going to be there for probably the whole season. Um, Matt, or not Matt, uh, Andrew uh, Osgard, who's been uh, posted at the library this summer, working his ass off and, you know, sweating, sweating like crazy, like I did for a few summers. Uh, he's going to be real happy when I get back and I'm going to let him go off on a little vacation for maybe a, you know, a little bit to just catch a break after this summer. You know, every summer is really hard and intense. Um, Let's see. Rip to shreds. No, I'm not with caveman. He treated me like shit. So, uh, yeah, it's it's not a thing. He's living in cage. Mm. Um, loot mule. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of cool because um, it's been legal to grow your own personal stash in Alaska since like the 70s. So, like, you wouldn't expect it, but there's actually some serious like grow operations going on up here and some really really quality product uh william yeah it, it was actually pretty trippy um experiencing some of the earthquakes um when i was heading up through denali national park i didn't realize that i had camped out like basically right on top of a fault line and i don't know if there was an earthquake in the middle of the night or if it was just a dream but i had like this dream that the earth opened up and like swallowed my tent whole and uh it's it, yeah it was kind of interesting it's 91 degrees in slabs right now that's awesome yeah i'm, I'm gonna get my ass back down there real quick Uh, Alaska Navigator, scariest thing that's happened to me on the road, like in my whole career on the road or just this summer? I mean, that, that's, that's something I'd have to think kind of hard about, but I don't know. Um, do I have any specific places that I'd like to stop on my way? Well, uh, Squat the Planet, uh, I want to come out and visit you on my way down uh, in Walla Walla. And we're going to hang out and, and rage it up. That sounds fucking awesome. Um, other than that, I might uh, might try hit up some friends in Mendocino County, California, and um, see if there's any little odd jobs for me to score on the way down. 
I think that would be really cool. Um, and yeah, and, and I'm definitely going to drive upward toward Fairbanks on my way out of Alaska, um, and do some busking and stuff like that. See if I can drum up a few bucks there to get me started on the way back down through Canada. Cause it, um, it's a really long drive and, um, there's not really a whole lot of places to uh, stop and busk through the Yukon Territory and British Columbia. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett John Salter. That's uh, that's cool of you to say. Hell yeah, Toxic Nightshade. I'll uh, I'll try and be as safe as possible. Um. Squat the planet. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm sure you can totally turn me on to some cool spots. I've done the the coastal route, um, like the Pacific coastal route, a lot of times. And I really love it. Like, um, But, I mean, every time I go through, I find something new that I've never seen before. Um, Satan is very happy. She's actually... Um, I, I mated her with a purebred Springer Spaniel um, hunting dog with pedigree and he's really beautiful and his name is Odin. So she's going to have some cute little puppies in, in the near future. Uh, Gemini seven, how much cash do I generate busking? You know, that's, it's kind of a hit or miss sort of thing. Like some towns don't really get it and it's hard to make like enough to even just get out of town and feed yourself. But uh, some places like especially party towns and stuff, like it, it's, it's so easy. Like um, in some places to just hang out over the weekend and hit the bar crowd and entertain the shit out of them. And um, like I've, I've woken up after like party busking for an evening and like pulled wads of cash out of my pockets. I mean, it's never like, you know, holy shit, I'm a millionaire, but, you know, sometimes it's like, wow, this is, you know, it's like 200 bucks or something, and that's pretty rad. Uh, let's see. Um, what kind of mileage does my bus get? Um, it gets about 10 miles to the gallon, or to the gallon of diesel. Um, I mean, it's not the worst for a bus, but it's, definitely uh definitely expensive to drive um it's like uh how, how many miles is it from here to slab city i just looked it up it's like almost five thousand miles or something um yeah it's a real expensive trip yeah it definitely could be a lot worse for a bus and i keep it pretty unladen like you know um so it's it's pretty light and i take good care of it um, right now I'm like struggling through the process of changing out my master cylinder and I needed a special tool, like, a, a line wrench and they didn't, you know, it's, it's Alaska. It's hard to get specific things out here. So it had to be shipped in. It was supposed to be in today. Um, but I didn't get a call back. So I'm going to check in tomorrow and see if they got the tool in so I can finally finish this project and get out of this rainy town. <laughs> No, Ray Ray, if I was busking, I would be playing an instrument. I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> it's not busking. Busking is when you entertain people in exchange for tips. Uh, the master cylinder of the brake um, for the brake fluid mat, um, it's, it's attached to the brake fluid reservoir in this bus. And um, I thought I was just going to be able to remove the reservoir. And, uh, but it's all attached in there. It'll just be easier to just take out the whole master cylinder and put it in. It's just like a few bolts. Well, thank you, Ray Ray. I'm glad that you're entertained. Um, I guess it's more so like when you're, when you're busking, you're like performing like, um, uh, I don't know, like an act or something like, uh, you know, playing guitar or telling stories or poems or doing acrobatics or something. 
Thanks, Brenda. <clears throat> I've just been waiting on this line wrench because a regular wrench, it, the, the lines are way too rusted. I need that extra grip, you know? Uh, let's see. Why did I name my dog Satan? I don't know. Cause it's, I just always wanted a dog named Satan. Huh, Satan? Huh? Hello? It's the pups. Hello? Oops. <laughs> Satan, stop. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Jeff, I, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. It's, it'll be pretty simple. Alaska Navigator, that's actually not a bad idea. Go live and play a set. And But the thing about it is um, donating on, well, you know, yeah, I guess that actually is a pretty good idea. Fuck yeah. Yeah, thanks, the Red Road Warriors. That was, uh, that was pretty, that was a pretty rough few days. But I'm I'm glad to have new equipment that works well for me. Some bands that I'm currently listening to. Oh, you know, uh, I I have this like beat tape addiction right now that's been persisting through like the last year with like, um, it, there's these a lot of folks are doing these YouTube beat tapes and they're so good like they they just use whatever samples they want and it's it's kind of anarchist like and and then they'll take cool uh visualizations from like movies and stuff and put them together and it's just like really chill um i've been listening to a lot of like uh freaking synth wave and trap mixes and witch house and stuff um but i've also been listening to a lot of folk punk as usual um you know freaking I'm completely addicted to Blackbird Rum and, um, and well, Tom Waits is, is another favorite of mine. That's not really folk punk, but you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. And, and I listen to a lot of metal too. Um, like I listen to a lot of stoner doom metal and, uh, black metal and folk metal. Let's see. Video Oh, clap out loud. You saw that one. Uh, the one where my dad got married and I visited my family and stuff. That was really fun. And it was, it was super fun to film too. Like I, I didn't have my camera out so much when I was out there because I just wanted to enjoy my vacation. But the footage that I did capture was, um, pretty epic. Right. Cheers. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. How would you feel? I mean, okay, let's let me rephrase that. What what things do you like the most about my channel that you wish that I would do more of? Anybody? Have any suggestions for me? Hey, Tails, what's up? Anybody? Anybody got something that they, like, really like about certain videos? At all. You want more interviews, Squat the Planet? I can do that. I was planning on doing a an interview segment with some dirty traveler kids and slabs when I get back. And talking about like, you know, gear and like road stuff. The Red Road Warriors. More hikes. Eric B, show me my uh, yeah. Actually I was gonna after I put out the end video of um my my quest, I'm gonna put out a short little kind of show you what what gear I ended up dialing my pack to. Um, so that way you can kind of like look back and see what I started with and um, kind of 
see what I ended up with, like what ended up being the most uh, practical stuff to carry and what stuck with me through the, you know, through Alaska. Um, let's see. I like the streams and longer vlogs. Okay. You want to see Joshua Tree, Brenda? I can do that. Lulu Bell, I'll do some more singing too. Uh, I haven't been playing guitar for very long, but I'm definitely getting a lot more confident. Jeff Dillman, you liked the tunes in the background? Yeah, I did a lot of montages, and that's actually kind of my favorite thing to do. Toxic Nightshade, I'm glad that you like the raw feel. I try to stay in the moment when I'm filming. Um, and not like be looking through the camera and just be like looking at, you know, and participating with whatever I'm doing because I don't want to take myself out of that moment. And I just kind of try to pretend to point or try to remember to point the camera, you know, at like the action, you know, but I, I don't like look through it like this, you know, I look through it like this and uh, just, you know, try to stay in the moment. And I also try not to whip out my camera too much because I don't want to, you know, like I said, take myself out of the moment. Interviews with locals, busking, very good ideas. Side quests, little adventures, hula hoop, all right, good call. Uh huh. More Satan, okay, I can do that. Uh, top 10 list of things I liked most about Alaska and least. That's a good idea, Matt. I think, I think that would be a good one to do. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, the dank mayonnaise. My, uh, well, the library is a lot bigger and a lot more, like, actualized than it was in 2015. Um, and when I get back, I'll definitely do, like, a walkthrough after I, um, you know, move stuff back to where I like it or, or uh, you know, like, obviously, you know, I'm not going to change everything back to the way it was. I know Andrew's been doing a lot of work there this summer and he's, um, he's been doing some projects. So I'm excited to see what he's done over the last few months. Longer, oh, fuck you, ripped to shreds. Oh, uh, let's see. Hey, Frankie Joseph, thank you. Band jams are dope. Yeah, I'll definitely do more band jams. That happens often. It's just like a lot of times when it happens, I want to jam and I don't want to like fumble around with the camera because then sometimes we lose steam and then everybody gets distracted and they don't really want to be on camera that much anymore. And then it's like, it kind of just, you know, so it, it depends. Mm, sorry. Chantal, you want to see a video of my story starting back from day one? Well, hey, you know, uh, Matt's going to be doing, Squat the Planet's going to be doing an interview with me, like I said, the, this this Saturday at 5 Pacific Standard. Um, and I'm sure that will touch a lot on my background stories and stuff that, you know, you guys probably don't know about me. So that'll be really fun. And I hope to see you all there. Jim Torres, uh, it's it's starting to get a little chilly. Uh, past couple days, like when I wake up in the morning, I can see my breath, but it's not like uh, it's not rough yet. But within the next uh, month, it's going to be the temperature is going to be dropping. Let's see. Um, the slabs are still like eighty plus degrees in September. Um, yeah, it's, it's still, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's hot. I think that's very relieving after a summer, but you know, I've been up here all summer, so maybe it will be, maybe it will feel hotter to me when I get down there. But, um, I've spent the last three summers out there, so I think that I'll be able to adjust fine. All right. Yes, I do have bear spray, Garrett. Uh, Gardener Earth Guy, 
favorite best moment on this trek so far? Huh? You know, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil my next video, uh, my next full length, like, you know, uh, the last segment of the hitchhiking Alaska trip, but I'll, I'll say that some of my absolute favorite moments were, uh, during that time. Uh, Vinici, there's a lot of drama in slabs every summer. People just kind of lose their minds because it's really hot. And that's totally normal. Like, everything just falls the fuck apart every summer. And then it comes back together in the winter. That's just the cycle. Oh, thanks, Gemini. Cool. Uh, Minnesota Mike, I probably... It's it's not unlikely. I mean, that's that is uh near my route. It's not unlikely that I could end up passing through Fresno. And I'll make sure to do updates as I'm heading down, so people kind of have a general idea of where I am. Um, Matt the butcher, how's the beer in Alaska? Alaska has some really excellent. Um, I'm I'm at, I have actually celiac disease, so I can't really drink the beer. But I have uh, I have done a little taste and spit of uh, a lot of good beers, which still is not good for me, but I really like beer, so, you know. Um, and uh, But they also have some really good ciders that I enjoy. Um, they got Double Shovel and um, this other local one that's really bomb. And the bars in Alaska are incredible. Um, I, I've been to some of the best bars I've ever been to out here. Um, nameless one. Yes, this is my katana, my bed katana. <laughs> yeah, you caught me. Oops, shit. Um, yeah, I've had Alaska Thunderfuck. You know, I work a lot in you know, weed and stuff. Uh, I've tried a lot of stuff. The best one, the best weed that I've had up here so far is a, um, a special particular strain of Rude Boy that my friend grew. And um, it's very high THC content. And uh, it's incredible. Uh, my back hurts. One, well, I don't know if it's a cold steel. It pro it's a folded steel katana. It's really, it's cheap. It's basic, but it is battle ready, and that's what matters. How much is an ounce? You know, in in Alaska, the weed is expensive. Um, it's not like hideously expensive. Um, but it is kind of like Midwest prices. Um, you know, it can be like. 15, 20 bucks a gram sometimes, which coming from California is like a lot. Uh, not everything's expensive in Alaska, right? Actually, I was really, really surprised that uh, when I was up in Coldfoot, um, it's like so remote. And their bar only had two kinds of beer and, uh, like, two kinds of wine. But it, it was actually pretty reasonably priced for a bar, especially out in the middle of nowhere. Jose Sanders, <laughs> I burp like, did I burp? Whoops. Oh, whatever. Yeah, Casper, it's crazy, and and dabs are crazy expensive too, and um, just yeah, weed products in general, it's it's spendy. But if you work within the weed industry, it's uh, <laughs> it's a lot less spendy. Um, Jeff Dillman, I'm I'm probably gonna sell the gun actually before I head head out. 
it's worth about 500 bucks and I think that'll um, be good to put in my diesel tank. All right. Good night, nameless one. My fellow bass player. Yeah, hey, fuck yeah, bass. You saw me up in Prudo. That's crazy. All right, later, Garrett. How's it going, Benny? Frankie Joseph. Okay, so, um, yeah, I got injured uh, when I was in Coldfoot. Um, we were having a crazy party, and uh, there was a fire, and I was working on getting the fire lit, and uh, somebody had poured, like, a huge pile of gasoline, like a puddle of gasoline on the firewood, which I, I didn't realize, you know, how much freaking gas was on there, and I went to go light it. And I got a flash fire to my face. And that sucked. And it took me like almost two weeks to get my face all healed up. So you, you might notice that I don't have much for eyebrows yet. They're coming back in. Um, Dana, uh, yeah, I talked to Kaz. Uh, we keep in touch. He's doing his, uh, you know, Coffee with Cause live stream. I don't know what time specifically, but he does them. And I think he does, like, smoke sessions and stuff, too. Yes, I traveled the Dalton. And y you can't really catch up on that part yet because it's not released yet. I, I haven't had sufficient power to work on my computer and uh, get that done. Actually, in fact, my computer battery is... Uh, running pretty low, so I only got about 25 minutes that I can continue this stream. My eye looks bad. No, it doesn't. My eyes are awesome. I just always had deep eye sockets. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of like it, though. I think it's a good look. I don't care if you don't think so. <sighs> yeah, I, when, I, when I was younger and I was going for, like, the creepy goth look, I totally shaved my eyebrows and, like, part of my head and had, like, this weird patchy shit going on. And I was genuinely trying to look creepy, and uh, it was effective. All right, night, Jeff. Um, the temperature is probably around 56 degrees right now. Yeah, Frankie, hitting that moose really sucked. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I had my camera out like five seconds before I actually hit it. And I had just turned it off like uh, a minute before and it like because I, I had I was just filming the whole thing just in case something interesting happened. And yeah, I almost I almost got it on film, but not quite. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Kimmy. <laughs> um Hey Beverly Barnes, I'm glad that you uh, you're digging the channel, and I encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends, and just just have a good time with me. Thank you, Beta Boy. That's really sweet of you. Now, Kimmy, I saw you. Oh no, my battery's running low. I only have a few more minutes left of battery time. If I disappear suddenly, you know what happened. Um, Armand, yes, uh, I will try to do some live streams from Slabs. 
Um, I've tried to do them before on, on my old internet and it was just a miserable experience. Like nobody could see what was going on. It was choppy. Um, it was just really poor quality cause it's, um, satellite internet out there. But with my current setup, I've got this, um, this track phone that actually gets really good reception. I don't know how it's going to be when I bring it down, but, um, I guess, I guess we'll see, but, um, I definitely really like, uh, having a phone to tether to as opposed to the satellite internet. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to switch over to when I get back to slabs. Oh, uh, thanks Giz. I will definitely continue to make videos. Hmm. Yeah, Brenda, it, it, I've, I've always wanted to just do a live stream of like the bar in the library during like a party night um, and just let people hang out with us and watch all the weird shit we do. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay. Um, let's see. I feel like I have another question for the the uh the followers here. Let's see. Oh, I was thinking of one. Um oh thank you, Thor Dog. That's very cool. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, Armand, you're, you're talking about the, the San Pedro trip. Yeah, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty intense. I, I love hosting, uh, trippy parties like that. Um, that's kind of one of my, uh, passions actually. Does anybody else have uh, any, like, do you have any questions, uh, more questions about, like, Alaska? I know when I came up here, a lot of people told me a lot of things about it that ended up not being true at all. And uh, I found that pretty interesting. All right. Thanks, Benny MC. Hmm. The bug situation. Oh man. In uh in the places I was at um on the Kenai Peninsula when I was out in the woods, like if you saw the videos from like I think it's Hitchhiking Alaska one or two, where um I get some video footage of the swarm of mosquitoes waiting for me in my rainfly. It was like that in a lot of places where it was super thick and um Again, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, it they get a lot thicker up in the Arctic Circle. Does it feel freer in Alaska? Um, in in a lot of ways, yeah. Like um, people people have the same attitude up here as like um, a lot of people that I'm familiar with that live off grid. A lot of people live off grid, and uh, it's kind of just like a state motto or mantra just like live and let live you know but if somebody fucks with you like take care of business like people in alaska are armed to the fucking teeth uh, and they're more than ready to throw down but people don't in general like go out of their way to cause trouble because they know that people are ready to deal with their own shit um and i mean there's like Alaskans do not scare easily because, you know, there, there's bears and like actual predators around that, you know, humans aren't at the top of the food chain up here. So, you know, people have uh, a different sort of just general attitude in life. 
Um, let's see. Surprised to find out about Alaska. Hmm. Um, well, I was looking up the weed situation, and it seemed to be like... Uh, the internet suggested that, like, Alaskans are, like, tolerant of weed, but not into it, like, I guess, and it's hard to get your hands on, but when I came up here, it's, like, it's everywhere, and, you know, it was very easy to get weed. Um, the handgun is, um, a forty-five. It's a forty-five um, Ruger revolver. Hey John, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Thor dog, long pork. I love that you are familiar with my uh, <laughs> experimental doom jam band, man. That's great. Um, yeah, I, I definitely would love to jam um, again with um, with my that that drummer. Um, we. We got some good chemistry, and I'm always down. Um, I I really like the. I really like the, doing the long pork jams. How much for the gun in the holster? Um, I'm uh, I bought it for five hundred bucks, and that's the the lowest price that I want to get for it. Um, if you're honestly interested in buying my, um, buying my Ruger 45, um, I guess, uh, you could private message me or, uh, email me at corneliusvangoe at gmail.com and I'll get back to you uh, about it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to, cause I, I don't have the means right now to get, uh, get that all squared away so I can bring it with me. I'm just gonna, just gonna pass it on.